Chester Moore, executive editor of Texas Fish and Game Magazine here at the 2011 ICAST show in Las Vegas. We're here with Paul with Engel, and you got a, a cooler here that looks a little bit different than I've been seeing the last few years. Thank you very much, Ronald. Thank you for visiting us. But we had the best cooler on the market, mm -hmm. and now we've just improved it. We've spent a ton of money retooling, rechanging, and adding all the features that we could possibly think of in a cooler. Okay. And when you're dealing with plastic, it's actually pretty easy to manipulate it and check the mold just right. And we'll go through some of those features if I may. Yes, sir. One of the most noticeable features when you open the lid is we've got inserts in the lid. These are inserts with like, like an I-beam effect. Mm -hmm. It's plastic that's at 90 degrees to the lid and it gives it incredible strength. So when you close the lid and you stand on it, our coolers were plenty strong enough, but more people are using it as a step yeah. to, from, to get off a dock into a big boat. Yeah, yeah pushing like that hard. I mean, this is like a rock now. It really, really is strong. So we've got that durability. Another thing is we've changed our gasket. We no longer have a rubber gasket, which over time gets flat. We've got okay. a silicone gasket. Mm -hmm. The silicone gasket gives it, you know, returns to its original shape and it gives it a seal. So yeah, one caught. way to test a good quality cooler is get a simple That's piece of paper, a full size, or it's got a little piece of paper. The silicone gasket is going to grip that piece of yes. paper. When you latch it down, it's almost impossible to get that out. I did it now first shot, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty tight. Yeah. What that means is when you're running at 30 miles an hour on a boat mm -hmm. and the wind is blowing through the cooler, mm -hmm. you're not blowing away the hot air. Mm -hmm. Another feature that we've done is we've got optional dividers. We've built a slot into the cooler. Mm -hmm. The bigger coolers will have two of these slots. Mm -hmm. So you can now put in a divider and have ice on one side and drinks on the other or dry goods on the other or any combination of the above. So you mm -hmm. can keep things separate, which is a pretty neat idea. The latches themselves on the cooler, when you tie them down, are much tighter. They latch down really, really well. And there's a number of tie-down features that we can go through as well very quickly. A lot of folks out there wanted to be able to use a turnbuckle system. Mm -hmm. They're using these turnbuckles um, as a, well, the cooler as a standing platform on the front of the boat, casting or something like that. We've designed it now to be able to take a turnbuckle. Ultimately, on deck is a plate. Nice. And you just simply turn it down and lock it down in place. There's another option that we offer. And uh, let me open the cooler up and show you. We've got a little hole underneath the ropes there that's hidden. And some guys like to use webbing. Let me close the lid. We now have a stainless steel cam belt system and we incorporate a tie down with it and suddenly you have got a tie down on the deck of your boat with a cam belt buckle nice. that ties it all down very nicely. One other thing you might notice is the, the handle is a nice ergonomic design, easy to pick up the cooler, easy to pick up a heavy cooler which is a key. Another nice little feature is the drain plug. We've recessed it slightly but we've also got a hole in the drain plug, and that hole can be used to tie it off mm -hmm. higher up so people don't lose the drain plug. So many guys have done this, they've taken the drain plug out, put it on the dock to empty the cooler. And lost it, yeah. Somebody kicks it and it ends up in the water and they mm -hmm. end up buying another drain plug. It's not necessary. The drain plug, by the way, if I may, it shows you it's got a little hole in it mm -hmm. in the middle of the drain plug. And what that allows you to do is when you give it one turn, it drains the cooler. In one turn, it seals the cooler. So you don't have to take the drain plug out completely. Very Pretty nice. neat little product. Very nice. And then other accessories, we do all sorts of things like hanging baked trays or hanging trays. You put food in there, sandwiches mm -hmm. in there. It elevates it off the ice. It keeps it dry. We do have a slot already divined in there on the top of the cooler. Another product are stacking bait trays. Mm -hmm. Two different heights of stacking bait trays. We can do a tall one, which is for boxed bait or mm -hmm. chum or something like that, a slightly shallower one, mm -hmm. they're interlocking, they sit on top of each other, you can swap them around, and we do a bait board. What a good idea to be able to cut bait, put it on here, and this whole lot just slips in and it drops right into the cooler. Nice. Easy as that, and it keeps everything cold and fresh, and of course this is made of aluminum, so it conducts the cold, so this is sitting on ice, everything stays cold and fresh and it doesn't dry out, mm -hmm. so your bait is much better. And one last unfortunate part, of the industry is that more and more people are 
finding out that these are really premium quality products. Let's grab that out of the way. So we've designed a locking system. If you leave this on the back of a pickup truck, unfortunately people are experiencing theft. Yes. So this is a standard cable that you find anywhere, yeah. any hardware store. We've designed a, a groove in there that you can push that through. You can put the cable through itself and tie it off to the side of your boat or to the side of your pickup truck. It doesn't interfere with the operation of the cooler at all. Wow. But it really securely ties it down. And obviously as a standard that we've always had is the ability to put a padlock on there and keep your friends from getting into your beer. Gotta love that. But, uh, use two padlocks and it's certified bear resistant or bear proof. On the back of the cooler, we've got the wording IGBC certified bear resistant cooler, clearly visible. So those of you in the bear areas, uh, these are certified bear proof. Well, I've never seen this much stuff, especially bear proof. We have a lot of time uh, on our hands to think about all this. Amazing. Things. Good stuff, man. You saw it here first. Fishgame.com with Engel at Thank ICAST. you very much, man.